watching Coast Life and you know we love to keep you entertained in all kinds of ways, whether that's with a good book, a good movie, or so much more. That's why here on the Coast Life couch is Jen Noonan with the Lewis <laughs> Library. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Thanks so much for having me today. Thank you so much for coming in because the Lewis Public Library always has so much going on, but we've had a lot of new people move to the area recently. So maybe for folks who don't know yet, just tell us a little bit about the Lewis Public Library, sort of in a general sense. Okay, well the Lewis Public Library is not what you imagine a stereotypical old school library to be. We are a modern 21st century library. We're a a place where people can gather. It's not just a place to get books, but a place to come learn about things, a place to connect with others in your community. It's really um, a hub of activity in Lewis. Yeah, and I think one thing that people tend to underestimate about libraries in general is that it's really one of the last places you can exist for free. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, there are no strings attached. Come on in. A library card is free. Anything that you participate in there is free, and it's free just to hang out. You can be there from the time we open until the time we close, and nobody's going to ask you to buy anything. Yeah, and that's, I mean, we don't see a lot no. of that anymore. No. <laughs> so uh, not only is it beautiful from the outside, when people walk into the Lewis Library, what are some of the things that they might see? Well, gosh, when you first walk in, you're going to see our friend shop on the left, which, you know, the Friends of the Lewis Public Library um, does a lot of fundraising for us. They purchase all of our books and they pay for all of our programs. And we have a little shop there. If you want to take home something for keeps, um, whether that's a book or whether it's a gift, they're right there. And then um, you come up to our adult section where we have our new books, we have DVDs and audiobooks. And, you know, right up in the front of the library as well is. Uh, where the youth services is. We have our teen tech suite and our teen library and then of course the children's library where I work. That's awesome and there really is, uh, th there's so much, a little something for everybody. Like nobody's gonna walk away empty-handed uh, at the Lewis Public Library. So I think um, you really have programs for all ages and you have content for all ages. So tell us a, a little bit about maybe some of the books. I think magazines is another thing that you guys have that people might not think of. What are maybe some of the unexpected things that people might find in the in the library? Yeah, I mean, not only do we have books, so you can come on in and find your favorite or something new, but you can check out magazines just the way that you can check out books for three weeks at a time. But you can also access those digitally online um, through our app called Flipster. Mm -hmm. um, not just books, but we actually have a library of things. And you can check out a jigsaw puzzle. You mm -hmm. can check out a board game. Um, we also have Wi-Fi hotspots and Chromebooks if you need to do work or work on projects um, and you don't have access to those things. Yeah. Those are all the things we have there. Yeah, it's a great resource. Um, now, you, it's sort of a, a cool thing that I actually didn't know that we were talking about just before we, we sat down and turned the cameras on. Uh, I didn't know that you needed a, a specific degree to be a librarian. So you guys really have specified knowledge in what you do. You're truly experts in almost all kinds of knowledge. Tell me just a little bit about that. Well, you know, you do need a master's in libraries to be a librarian. We have three um, certified librarians at the Lewis Public Library, and all of our staff is incredibly well trained. They all have something special that they do. We have, you know, someone who specializes in teaching people how to use computers, how to use email if they don't. Um, we have people who specialize in and, you know, graphic design. I mean, we have all sorts of help, whether you're looking for a job or whether you're looking, um, you know, for <laughs> the best price on chicken in town this week. I mean, everybody's yeah. got something special. But yes, we do have specialized knowledge, especially to use with databases and research. That's awesome. That's so cool. And, and I think it's, it, it's, how would you encourage people who maybe, you know, don't know that you have all of this stuff to come out and, and join you at the library? I would say, you know, check out our online calendar. You can, you know, as soon as you get to the website, you can hit the calendar of events. There is something for everyone. There's, um, we have author talks, we have STEM programs for kids, we have art programs for, for kids and for adults, we have performances. Um, you know, there's really something for everybody. There's teen movies, there's book clubs. Um, I would say, you know, check out the online calendar, sign up for the newsletter. Yeah. We send out a newsletter once a month that lists all of the activities and all of the things that we're doing, all of the resources that we have, and, and that's a great way to tap in. And just come visit us. Awesome. Well, Jen, as oh, the wealth of knowledge that a librarian <laughs> is, there's more going on at the Lewis Public Library, so don't go anywhere. We're going to dive into a little bit more of that when we get back.
told you just uh, before the break that the Lewis Public Library always has so much going on, whether it's the contents inside the library or it's the activities that they're running. So Jen Nuna didn't go anywhere. She's still <laughs> here on the Coast Live couch with us to tell us a little bit more about some of those activities because there really is so much going on all the time. And I mean, I don't ever want to wish time away, but summer is cruising, but there's still a little bit left of summer and you guys still have a lot going on. There is still plenty to do at the library for all ages. Uh, we're coming up towards the end of our summer reading program, but we still have um, summer reading performances next week on Thursday at 1030. We have Tailwise. They do wonderful storytelling with science experiments. So cool. that's really fun. Um, our garden story time and our historic Lewis Farmers Market story time and our regular story times will continue all through the end of the summer. Yeah. Um, but we'll be wrapping up um, summer reading with the tweens with the Precision Paint Gaming Truck oh, on August cool 1st, that? which will be yes, really fun. Them. Whole trailer full of video games, so that's always a big hit. Um, we will also uh, be having a party for you know the younger kids where they can come and pick out a book to take home for keeps for Aww. doing their summer reading. Yay. And uh, we have new things coming up for other age groups. We've got um, new millennial programming coming up. Very so cool. that's anybody sort of like in that mid 20s to late 30s range. Peak um, millennial right here. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, um, a, a new program called Pints and Pages That's where so you'll cool. be able to talk about books, but also sample some of the great um, brewery offerings that we have in the area and we have so many yes so that's going to be a lot of fun that's coming up i gotta um, let Paige know because we talk about books together all the time <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said you also had a, a writers conference coming up yep there's a big writers conference coming up in august that's something that we've been doing for years um and the teens also have a shakespeare intensive coming up in august so there's still plenty of things to do this summer at the library yeah so how can people who maybe want to get involved in sort of leading some of these programs get involved? Well, I would say um, come and show your interest. I know a lot of the teen programs really are teen led um, because teens want to hang out with teens. That and makes they, sense. It's a wonderful <laughs> way for them to have, you know, an experience with some leadership. So yeah. especially for teens, um, you can come um, and take a part in the uh, teen advisory board and get involved that way mm -hmm. and, you know, find what your niche is. Yeah, yeah. I know we talked about how you know summer is winding down and you have those summer reading programs. Mm -hmm. I was one of those kids that fought tooth and nail about summer reading. It was just, it was hard. It was hard to stay focused or it was hard to get into the book that the school had you read. So how do you kind of keep kids maybe from elementary through high school interested in that summer reading? Okay, so true story, <laughs> I as a kid did not like to read. I really didn't. I mean like, it's not really important to me that you love reading. It's mm -hmm. important to me that you can read. Yes. Okay. You know, and everybody will find what it is that excites them that they want to learn more about. And that's really what you should do in the summer. All year long, someone is telling you what you have to read if you're in school. Mm -hmm. In the summer, read what you want. If you yeah. want to read comics, read comics. If you want to read Sports Illustrated, read Sports Illustrated. If you want to read the instruction manual for putting together flat pack furniture, do that. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you know, I mean, find something that interests you. Yeah. Um, and even, you know, visit an old friend. Read that, you know, favorite book that you had in second grade. Even if you've read it three times, it's like visiting an old friend. Anything yeah. to keep your brain engaged is fine by me. And I hope that it's fine by the rest of the adults in their lives. It should be. Well, and it's it's so funny because like you said, and, and like I said, I really, I wasn't much of a reader as a kid. I didn't enjoy it the way that I do now as an adult. And it really was in like probably my mid twenties that I started to fall back in love with reading by reading fantasy books. I know the Akatar series is mm -hmm. really popular right yeah. now. And that's one that like, I just, I fell head over heels in love with. And now I've got this huge backlog of books that I haven't read because I'm always picking up something new. And so it, it really is kind of special. I think like you said, to sort of fall in love with an old friend again, when you visit a genre that you haven't read in a long time. Exactly. And and really just to take the pressure off and, you know, allow yourself to experiment. And it, it's okay if you don't finish a book. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, book. the guilt. <laughs> <laughs> if you read if you read, you know, a chapter and you're not into it, 
it's okay. Life is too short, you know. Yeah. Just I, I wish that we could take the pressure off of reading for kids and let them just read what they want, whatever it is. Even if you think it's silly, even if you think it's bathroom humor, they're, it's all a stage. They're going to yeah. grow out of it. They're not going to still be reading Captain Underpants in college. <laughs> I promise. It's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jen, thank you so much for coming in and, and sharing about these programs and, and all that the Lewis Public Library has going on. And I mean, like you said, there's a lot of stuff that, yes, it's, it's specific to the Lewis Public Library, but also many libraries throughout Delaware. All of the libraries have wonderful programming in the summer and you know our 35 public libraries are all together in a consortium with the Delaware uh, libraries and there are so many resources available to the entire state as a result. That's our on you know our online our digital stuff like our digital magazines, our digital audiobooks, yeah. you know all of these things you know, transfer across libraries. You can pick up a book at Lewis and return it at Milton if you want, or vice versa. Or if we don't have a book that you want and Ho Kesson does, we can have it sent down for you. And even things from the Library of Things, you know, games, puzzles, you know, these things we all share. And so everyone should take advantage of it. Yeah, that's awesome. See, I didn't even know that. I feel like I'm always learning in real time here on Coast Life. Well, Jen, thanks again for coming in. Where can people get maybe a little bit more information if they're still looking? If you're still looking, you can hit our website at lewis.lib.de.us. Perfect. And there's, again, endless knowledge <laughs> when you see any of the Delaware libraries, but we love our friends at the Lewis Public Library. Well, don't go anywhere because we've got more Coast Life headed your way 